As mentioned in last week's video everybody, it was time for those bulkheads to go back into the boat and be fitted permanently. So I'll just lay this on top, tighten it down with the clamps. Do the same with this piece, which obviously is the piece that will go in there. So what I've got here is the top of the main bulkhead that's going to be going between the galley and the saloon. And as you would have seen in prior videos, I'm thickening up this section where the breakfast bar is going to sit on top. And I've done that by making an extra two pieces, as you can see here. This piece here will actually go immediately on top of that main bulkhead. And then this piece underneath is going to actually be laminated against well, both this and the main bulkhead underneath. So what I'm going to do is I've got this epoxy glue here and it's absolutely incredible stuff. It bonds stronger than fasteners. So what I'll be doing is the surfaces are actually cleaned up and I will just smear a very slight layer on both surfaces and then lay this one on top and I'll just use the clamps with some little bearers on top to tighten those down. I'm not going to put any fasteners in that because as I said this glue is very very strong so I'll just lay this on top, tighten it down with the clamps and leave it to go off. That will be that finished and then when I'm finished with this I can take it into the boat where the other part of the bulkhead is and actually glue this in place when it's in the boat. If I was to bond this together with the main part of the bulkhead here, I wouldn't get it into the boat. It's just too large. So that's the plan. I'll be bonding these together here and then take them into the boat, put it in place on top of the other bulkhead and that should be looking good. That looks to be good now. Pretty happy with that. Took a bit of uh, mucking around actually because it was really slippery. But anyhow, that's all set up. Have this little bit of timber underneath as you saw me put in. The reason being, I wanted this panel somewhat suspended so that it wasn't creating a bit of uneven pressure on the stand underneath because the floor is not very even, as you can imagine. And another piece on top, as you can see, and that's to stiffen it all up, basically. I could have clamped straight onto the pieces, but I think having a bit of 17 mil in the mix as well is just going to help add a bit of stiffness there while that goes off. But that's come up nice. It's all flush on the edges and leave that to dry now and have some lunch. So here we are the next day and that's come up well.
that's got that in. Oh, very rewarding knowing that that is in for good. Whew. I actually bought a beer to celebrate the occasion. I mean, I know I got the forehead main bulkhead in before, but this represents another stage for me. I know these will go in quick. They're all painted. They've all been epoxy coated with the, with the full paint system. And it's a happy and momentous occasion yet again. Seems like reward time, I must admit. So I'm gonna have a beer for the occasion. Good James Squire 150 lashes. For those in Australia, you'll know what it is. If you're a foreigner and here, try it. They're really nice. So cheers to this moment. Cheers to James Squires, the original. That's nice, that's very nice. How does it look? Let me know. <laughs>
manufacturers, they basically used the same word, greasy, uh, as in a greasy feeling. And that's what they've had, and it is because of the cool weather. So they've just advised, wipe them down with acetone. That'll remove it, doesn't harm the epoxy at all. And so that's what I'm doing here, just with some acetone, using a glove, of course. I wear a dust mask also, clean rag, and just wipe that down to get rid of it. Just to make mention too, it's really nice to have pre-drilled pre -drilled the holes in all of the bulkheads is what I was going to say. At this point, this is where the batteries in the transmitter for my lapel mic ran out. I also went on to say and explain how that bulkhead was just leaning a little bit aft. And so I put a clamp, attached a rope to that and tied it back to the mast post and put some tension on it, enough to get that bulkhead nice and level. And I left that overnight so that the Fix 15 could go off and hold that upright. So the next job is to get this top piece and that will need to be glued with the epoxy glue on top of that bulkhead. You can see that pencil line, so that's where it will be coming to. And as you've seen, that nice little scalloped piece on top. I'm looking forward to seeing that on actually. So folks, the good and enjoyable main bulkhead installation continues. Join me next week when I get the rest of them in.